for and the word news. WBBM News Time 108, traffic and weather together. On the 8th, time to say good morning to Stephen Haas. And good morning, Jackie Swike. Good morning, everyone. It is indeed a better morning on the inbound side of the Dan Ryan Expressway. We had an earlier accident right around Canal Port coming into the downtown area. That was right in the middle of an evening or overnight and ongoing construction zone. Uh, we still have some heavy traffic from about the Stevenson up to about Cermak, but they're telling us all lanes have been reopened. Uh, that were closed regarding this accident. The left and the right lane still closed. Left with nighttime work, right lane with ongoing construction. Again, all because of the uh, Jane Byrne interchange uh, reconstruction going on. That's why we have those lane restrictions out there. Also seeing a tie up before that though, uh, from 63rd up to about 59th, both local and express hit bit of a snag. Uh, barely impacting travels though, but about a 20 minute ride, 95th into downtown uh, with those two delays coming Combined. Outbound side wide open, only 15 down to 95th. Outbound Stevenson, it's down to one lane from Western to Pulaski with nighttime construction and a bit sluggish going through that area. 25 minutes Lakeshore Drive to the Tri-State, inbound side good. The other problem spot in the northern suburbs on the southbound Tri-State, about a mile before Half Day Road, all lanes remain blocked. There's still detouring traffic off the southbound Tri-State at Route 6. Town Line Road, and uh, this all because of a horrific accident that occurred shortly after 10 o'clock last night. Uh, crews still on the scene conducting an investigation, and they expect the southbound Tri-State to remain closed uh, for quite a while. Northbound side, fortunately, unaffected. No problems in northwest Indiana. Get traffic and weather together on the 8th every 10 minutes on News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. And AccuWeather is saying cloudy this morning with a shower and